All right, guys, welcome back. So today we've come to Channel Skate Park, which is on the outskirts of Chelmsford in Little Waltham. It's been here a couple of years now, but it's the first time I've got around doing a review for it. So the park was built as part of a massive brand new housing estate, Channels. Brilliant idea. Should happen more often. But being a street skater, one of the first things I spotted first time I came here was this wall drop right here. So yeah, one of the first things I noticed when I came to this place was just how smooth the ground is. Polished concrete, it's gotta be the smoothest skate park I've ever seen. So yeah, it's got a car park over there, right next to the skate park, which is always a bonus. So yeah, as you come into the park, you've got a little mellow, kind of bowled out section at there at the bottom. You've got a nice size round rail there. You've got kind of a medium grind box coming up. You've got a real low, low grind box there. Real small transitions at the top which leads into this nice mellow snake run. Some of it's got coping, other parts are just kind of banks. But yeah, got a tiny ass grind box there to really learn your grinds on. Bigger one, nice rail. So the whole park is built on a slope, which does make it a bit quirky, but you kind of get used to it. Only thing is you can't keep continuous flow around without pushing. One downside I'd say is though, that there's no toilets on the site, but there is a Mickey D's and the Morrisons just up the road. So, got that little volcano section here, which is no coping. Yeah, that section at the top is just brilliant for relearning transition tricks. It starts off so low, gets slightly high up to about, I don't know, four, three foot probably. But it's just great for relearning stuff. Okay, one thing I've been wanting to learn for absolutely bloody ages is an axle stall to fakie. And I mean, this is a perfect park to learn it. Okay, the way I've always done it on mini ramps is where you don't really grind the cope and you kind of just go close to it and tickle it and come back in fakie. But I was watching a video where it says to do it this way. So yeah, they say, like from an axle stall, to shove your trucks forward, put your weight on your toes, shove your trucks forward, so your heel side wheels touch the coping, so most of your board is hanging over the edge, and then just lean forward and try to power slide in. But yeah, it's easier said than done. Yeah, I forgot to say, the only other time I have done it is over a tiny little spine and then you've got your momentum going over the spine with that to come back in fakey. But yeah, the other way I've kind of figured out, another way of doing it, is just kind of pivot off the front truck. So as you're going up, say the small transition up there, you kind of put your weight back a bit and just concentrate on pivoting on your front truck to bring your back truck round, come back in fakey. Let's have a, give it a go. Pretty stoked with that. It might not seem like much, but that's the highest transition I've actually got one of them on. 
So, and I've found like when I was doing it, the best way was I weren't really thinking about my trucks being right over the coping. I was just mainly focusing on unhooking that front truck. So you got to kind of go up, just make sure, just kind of focus on first getting into that 50-50 and then concentrate on unhooking your front truck off the coping. That's what I was doing, kind of shifting, shifting my weights back so you've got less weight on the front truck and just making sure you unhook it because that's the worst that can happen and it's fine on transition that low. The worst thing is that, you know, your truck's going to hook up when you get yeah, flung off the board, but it's just building the confidence up. So, yeah. See, this was a mental battle getting past this line. I don't know what it was. I was stoked when I got them up to that. And now I can get them past that. What I've realized is the higher up the transition you go the more I've got to give my trucks a little shifty to push them over the coping whereas before it didn't matter because there was so low the transition the higher you go you've got to kind of you do have to give your little your little trucks your trucks a little shove just over see so over the coping into the you know the transition and then it kind of yeah, it comes more naturally. Basically, it's just finding somewhere low enough, like this place, to practice the steps to get in that. So hopefully I'll be able to take that to a mini ramp eventually. Fingers crossed. So yeah, I know it might not seem like much on that little transition, but I've been battling with that trick for, for ages. And it's just good to conquer it on that small transition but it's a start just build it up so yeah i'm glad i finally got around to doing this review it's just a lovely little park great for relearning stuff great for beginners and yeah stoked i got that truck still to fakey and stoked with those um drop-in backside reverts as well i've never really tried them so yeah, I've always had front side ones, but to have back side as well. Stoked. <laughs> All right guys, that's it for channels. I'll see you on the next one.